was the smell of fear and death. That is what one of the first detectives responding to the theater shooting says he noticed when he first got on scene. Call 7 investigator John Frusia tracking this trial for us today. And John, we're learning more about how police found that gunman. Yeah, and Aurora police officer Jason Oviat was out of his car in the parking lot at the back of the theater when he noticed what he initially thought was a member of the police tactical team. But as he moved closer to the figure standing at a car outside the back door in what seemed to be full SWAT gear and a gas mask, well, he suddenly realized it might be the shooter. It wasn't like he was wearing a uniform. He was just wearing tactical gear. So it was, so it, it did become clear that he wasn't. At the time that you made that realization, what was he doing? He was, um, he was sort of leaning up against the car, you know, like he was resting his arms on the car. Uh, really not doing much of anything. What did you do? I pointed my gun at him. Now, officer Oviat and other officers forced Holmes onto the ground. They searched him and made him remove some of that gear. Now, Officer Aaron Blue helped put Holmes in a police car. And that's where police found out that the theater was not the only target. When we got him in, he started fidgeting back and forth and moving around. He still had all his stuff on. And I didn't find any weapons initially. So I, I asked him if he had any weapons on him. And he said, he said no, or he, he initially um, kept fidgeting back and forth. Um, and then, then he answered with, I have four guns. I have explosives at my house and they won't go off unless you set them off. Now it's clear that it had not been for these alert officers, Holmes might have simply blended into the dozens of police pouring into the crime scene and gotten away. Meanwhile, the defense did cross-examine officers today. They focused on Holmes' demeanor, his responding to orders, and his apparent calm. Again, their focus is trying to establish that despite all this bloodshed, Holmes was detached, calling his sanity into question. I'm Call 7 investigator John Ferrugia. Now, court is not in session tomorrow, but you can get caught up on the case anytime on the 7 News app. That is also where you can watch the trial when the jury returns to the courtroom Monday morning.